So right now this afternoon, there's a lot of wind out here and I've been fishing this bobber rig and the bobber rig I was fishing before had two leads on it. I had an inline weight right below the bobber and then I also had a smaller weight at the bottom. What I'm doing now is I'm switching up to a rig that only has a weight down the bottom. So what that does is it keeps my line a little bit straighter. So instead of having two heavy points on my line that are constantly spinning in the wind, I now only have one and hopefully that'll keep me from tangling up as much because I was only fishing about half the time. So now I'm gonna go get some shrimp on these hooks, see if I can catch up to Steve. Now, most of us are steelhead anglers and we have an eight and a half foot to nine and a half foot rod. That's gonna be your ideal setup. Anything from a six to 12, eight to 17 pound rod, line rod will work just fine. You're not having to cast out too far and you're really never using more than about two or three ounces of lead. And what I did on this trip down here to Southern Oregon targeting surf perch, I brought all my steelhead bobber and jig rods. And in fact, when I came here, when I arrived, I looked out, saw the waves, saw that it was a fairly uniform bottom out there and just thought, well, heck, I should be able to catch them on bobbers too. So I brought three different rods and I've actually ended up setting up each one of them with different style of bobber rigs. So on this first one here, I'm using braided line, just like you typically do on your steelhead bobber and jig setup, down to a slip bobber because we are adjusting depth, longer cast, a little bit deeper. When the fish are in closer, I'm able to bring my bobber stop down into an inline weight and this inline weight helps when you get a lot of rip, a lot of current at that mid-level in the water column. So it helps slow your presentation down. Then down to anywhere from 12 to 15, even 20 pound line to a three-way swivel. And off the three-way swivel are just your simple basic eagle claw or pre-tied snells. Why we use these is because they're very simple to quickly reattach when you break off. So you just put the loop through your third eye there on your three-way swivel, put the hook through the loop, pull it tight. You don't even need to tie a new hook and leader. It's already ready to go. And then on the end, we're using the Berkeley Gulp Saltwater Sandworm Camo Style, or Camo Color Worms. And these have been working fairly well. We've been tipping them with either sand shrimp or with already pre-cooked shrimp. And this actually has a double rig set up on it, so I have about 18 to 24 inches down to a second three-way swivel, out to another pre-tied snell. And then I have a little bit lighter leader down here. This is eight to 12 pound line, down to a snap swivel again, with a little piece of surgical tubing, and then a really small piece of solid core lead. Now the reason why I did this is because this will be touching the bottom, a lot like our bobber dogging rigs. So if this gets snagged up, either the lead will pop out or the tubing will break. That way I'm not losing my entire setup. All I'm losing is just the tubing and or the lead.